Hey guys, Jason here. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, cleaning our pistol after we do some shooting. Um, we have a Glock here as a sample. It's pretty similar to anything else you're going to have. You guys have your own versions of uh, pistols, and uh, some of this, most of this applies for probably a couple of uh, idiosyncrasies about yours that may not apply. But uh, generally speaking, it's uh, it's pretty much the same. Um, as is always the case, we're going to clear this before we do anything else. So it's sitting here already locked to the rear. We're going to check the chamber, look down where the magazine comes in, check the front of the uh, front face of the slide there, make sure we got nothing sticking in or stuck on or anything like that. So um, <clears throat> on the Glock, we're going to go ahead and release the slide. We have to pull the trigger and then just about a quarter or half an inch pull the slide back and this. Uh, this little tab that's right here on both, it's a bar that goes through <clears throat> on both sides, so you got to catch that with your hand, uh, thumb and forefinger on both sides and pull it all the way down, and then we can release the slide forward and uh, remove that off the gun. And then uh, spring has to come off, and you just, on the, on the back end, if you can make sure you can see what I'm doing here, you can um, push this plunger forward toward the muzzle, and basically what that does is it's it's driving that thing through just a little bit like that, taking the pressure off so you can pull it out. <clears throat> then we're going to pull the barrel out through the bottom of the slide. And uh, that's field stripped, what we call field stripped right there. Four component parts. Doesn't need to get broken down for, for maintenance any more than that. Um, generally, uh, I don't over clean my guns. I use a toothbrush through all of this right here. Um, run a toothbrush down through the magazine well. Um, if you got a little can of that air that you can use, like you use for on your keyboard for your laptop or whatever, you can spray some of that down in there, get a little dust out if you need to. That's pretty much it. <clears throat> when, we're, when we're done with the toothbrush and a, maybe a paper towel, I, I will, uh, on the Glock, the slide, if, if you guys aren't aware of this, the slide actually slides on these two rails here, one each side, and um, these two rails back here. And what I mean by that is the slide is actually resting on this piece of metal right here, and this one, and then this one in the back, and then one on the other side. So it's a left and a right, and a left and a right. <clears throat> and the slide is actually not touching, uh, not bearing on anything else. It's interacting with other parts, but it actually rests here, 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 here. So you can put a couple of drops of oil when you put this back together. And uh, it's pretty much the only place you need to lube this gun for the most part. And uh, then we're gonna take a toothbrush, come over here, work through these uh, rails uh, where the slide, you know, so here's your groove and here's your other groove where this rests on these pieces of the slide here. We're just gonna paper towel, um, rag, <clears throat> excuse me, rag, toothbrush, get that thing cleaned up um, till, it, till it's, uh, you know, pretty spiffy. Throw some oil back on it, not a lot, a couple drops. Uh, same thing with the barrel. Uh, one thing I will recommend is you use a, uh, you know, not every time, but maybe every second or third time, some uh, bore cleaner. Uh, and uh, what I mean is not gun oil, but actual bore cleaner, like uh, Hoppy's copper solvent or something like that and run a patch down here and just get some of the copper deposits out. Uh, that's always a good thing to do. Um, and then you're going to want to run a very thin uh, coating of oil on there just because it dries it out real bad and you don't want to leave it like that to dry up. And then uh, spring is uh, generally, I'm going to blow the dust out of this if I need to use a uh, toothbrush on it. And that's, that's all we're going to do. So um, pretty much it. Put it back together is exactly the reverse of what we uh, did to take it apart. Um, barrel goes in first. Slides, if you can't see how I did that, and this is pretty much universal on most guns, we're going to slide the barrel through the hole and then let it seat so that it's uh, flush with the top of the ejection port where it locks up like that. Leave that upside down so that we can put the spring back in easily. And we're just going to Remember I said this, this part has a, a little, uh, where the spring slides out through that plunger, that part goes in the front of the gun toward the muzzle. This end is in the back where the barrel lockup is, so we're going to put that there. Slides right in, 
seated nice and nice and easy and then when this goes back together we've got to start you can see what I'm talking about where the where the uh, the channels in the slide go over those two pieces right so this is bearing weight here and here and then it's coming back and we've got a little, we're, we're touching right there and then we come back and we're, we're bearing here and here and then it's picked up underneath here on both sides again and we come all the way back to here come a little bit past you heard it cock and it re-engaged here and we're just going to run this a couple of times from from full full spring compression all the way out and then I'm going to squeeze the trigger and make sure I get a click I'm going to hold the trigger to the rear cycle it one more time still holding I'm going to let it up so it resets and then I'm going to squeeze it again and then I'll lock it to the rear and that serves as your function check you should be good to go Thank you.